Hello everyone, I'm Eden and welcome back to my playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last episode, we took on two of the shrines that were left here in the Great Plateau. And this episode, I'm trying to head to the last one. I have about 17 and a half minutes of sauteed spicy peppers to get me through the cold. So I'm hoping I can traverse the map in 17 minutes, but we'll see because I don't know what my other option is because I don't know where else to find peppers. Come here. Get away from me. Let me get that chest. Oh no. Oh no. I'm carrying a torch and not a real weapon. Hold on, hold on. Don't 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 attack me yet. Ow! Oh, did I die? No! I already died. What the heck? Alright, we're gonna have a real weapon this time. Let's just use the spear. The spear's fine. Where were you? Excuse me, sir. I do not appreciate what you just did to me. Oh, he's not taking much damage, is he? Huh. He's a strong guy. Oh, and I knocked him over. That works. I'll take this. What is in here for me? Amber, a fossilized resin with a caramelesque sheen to it. Uh, interesting. It's for crafting. All right. Well, let's uh, get out of here. Oh, I don't like that sound. It sounds like enemies. It sounds like something's... Maybe not. <laughs> it had like an ominous sound for a second. And then supposedly some here around, uh, somewhere around here is the um, old man. And he will give you warm clothes. I think he's on one of these peaks. So if I can find him, that would be great. That way I don't have to worry about the peppers. But um, my main goal is going to be getting to that shrine. Okay, this is already going better than I thought it would. Is this the peak? I think it said something about the tallest peak. Maybe if I can get to the top of here. I would love to not have to worry about uh, having a bunch of spicy peppers. Because I don't even know if the spicy peppers respawn. I was trying to gather more. I was trying to farm them, but then I realized uh, all the areas where I, I had gotten the spicy peppers, they were gone. I'm used to in Zelda things like respawning, but I don't know if this game is different. Like even the enemies I've noticed once you kill them, unless it takes a while, but in the areas where I killed enemies, they didn't respawn. Oh, I almost fell off. <gasps> it is the old man. Oh, -ho. ah, I enjoy gazing out at the world from here. Yeah, but a breathtaking view. This may be the best place to get a full view of the entire plateau. Use your scope to look for shrines. When you locate one, place a pin on your map as a marker. I know. You did well to make it this far without the proper clothing. Please take this warm doublet as a reward for your tenacity. Yes, that's what I wanted. Oh, I assume you'll want to try it on right away. Yes, I, I do. I thought you might be eager to see how it looks. It's quite fetching. Well, I suppose it matters not. It is yours now. Do take care to put it on before you get too cold, though. Okay, uh, that is not it. Let me uh, go to the inventory. Um, clothing, R, there we go, and equip, let's see, oh, perfect, well, I still have cold resistance, but, uh, please don't take fall damage, please don't take fall damage, well, now, hopefully, I don't have to worry about, I know that, there it is, it's all the way over there, but I don't want to, uh, <laughs> I don't want to take a bunch of fall damage, so I'll just go down the gentle way. Okay, that makes me feel better. I was getting very nervous. We'll see what happens when this spicy pepper wears off. Or sauteed peppers. See if I uh, can make it through, but hopefully I can now. Oh, it's not too far. Okay, I, I was very nervous. I've uh, said this in other playthroughs, but I don't like when things are timed. I get, whoa, are those ice keys? Interesting. Well, I don't want to go near them. <laughs> I don't like when things are timed. Oh, come on. I can see enemies over there on my way. I don't like when things are timed. It gives me a lot of anxiety because I'm, if you haven't been able to tell, I'm not exactly the best gamer. <laughs> uh, it, it takes me a while to get through stuff sometimes, which I, I don't mind. Uh, it's fun, but I don't like when I'm timed because then, you know, if I don't get it through in whatever a lot of time the game gives me, it, I have to redo it or whatever the consequences are. <gasps> oh, oh my God. Oh my God. They're throwing stuff at me. Oh no. Come here, come here. Oh, they're going to attack me. It's okay. Get out of my way. Don't throw that at me. Get away from me, all of you. Oh no, the spear's already damaged. Ouch. Okay, let's, uh, what do I want instead? Do I have another one? I have a hammer. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's use the axe. It doesn't work uh, super well. 
There we go. Oh. And then I want the meat. Meat, please. Perfect. Is that everything over here? Well, I still have a minute left, but I think I'll make it. Nice. Let's see. Well, I'm glad I made that. So I really didn't even need um too much of this. Ooh, there's water. Okay, I can just head up this way. I didn't even need too much of the spicy peppers. I was nervous about that. K Namut Shrine. Perfect. Oh, here we go. Entrance is right here. I was just worried I wouldn't have enough and then I would have no other way to get to this shrine. Well, that's perfect. It took me a while last episode to even figure out how to make the spicy peppers, how you cook them to saute them so that you can eat them and they work. Because I was just eating raw peppers and I was like, it's not working. I'm not cold resistant. <laughs> then I realized you have to cook them. But that's okay. I figured it out eventually. I think what I realized with this game is I'm just going to have to hit record and I get what I get. <laughs> Usually I like to have 30 minute episodes where I actually get, you know, something accomplished story wise. But I just realized with this game that might not be what happens. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am K Namut. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Let's see what we got here. The Cryonis trial? Cry it. <laughs> I'm assuming that has something to do with cold. <laughs> and then after this shrine, hopefully we can get the paraglider. Cryon cryonesis? I'd have to see the word again. <laughs> I promise I'm educated. <laughs> These are just big words. All right. Cry cryonis. Create a pillar of ice from a water surface. Build ice pillars that are very stable. These pillars can be used as stepping stones or as obstacles. Use cryonis on an ice pillar to break it. Cryonis. Cryonis? Um, okay, so I don't think I need to do anything there, right? Oh, no, that's too high for me to jump. Okay, so we will... That is my weapon. No! There we go. Do I just, oh, okay. Well, let's do it here, maybe? Here? Can I jump on this? That's too tall. Oh, I can climb it, I see. Interesting, and then jump. Nice. And then here, hmm. Do I have to go above? Um, How tall can I make it? Oh, I go underneath it. Okay. Well, that was an accident. I didn't mean to figure it out that way, but that's fine. Oh, another one of those things. Oh God. Oh, I don't even have a weapon. Hold on, hold on. Let me uh pick another weapon. Should I do the sledgehammer? I don't want to waste it. A club, let me, let me use the club. Ow. Can I get it with the club? Club it, there we go. That's gonna explode. I will take your innards. There we go. And do I need to go this way? That's where I came from, right? Yeah. Looks like here I can, huh. Can I push it? Like if I do it like right here, can I push it? Let's try it. Maybe. Huh, let go, no. Interesting. Looks like I should be able to push it. I wonder... What if I hit it? Nope. What if I use the uh, stasis? Let me try this. Um, no, I don't think it'll work. Maybe. No. But I can do something with this. It's lighting up. Can I use a uh, magnesis? No. I was wondering if I could use stasis to build up the kinetic energy in it to move it. It doesn't look like... I can do something here though. Huh. Like if I hit it a bunch? What does that do? Maybe? Uh, 
Um, oh, interesting. Okay. Maybe if I raise it? Maybe on both sides? Let me try that. Okay. Okay, now I can climb it. There we go. That wasn't as complicated as I thought it was going to be, but that's fine. Oh, oh, that music scared me. I don't know why. Anything back there? Usually there's a chest. Did I miss a chest? Probably. That's okay. And I think we're at the end. Perfect. I did your trial. Took me just a little bit of time, but I figured it out. Or I figured out a way. I think that's kind of the intent of this game. There's not necessarily always a correct way to do something. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. I don't think there's always necessarily one correct way to do something. I think the point of the game is that there's multiple ways you can take things on. I'm just kind of type A and I like to know what's the intended way for it to be done. But I think I need to let go of that uh, hang up. All right, another spirit orb. And as we saw in, I think it was the last episode, may the goddess smile upon you. In the last episode, um, I can take the spirit orbs to like prayer statues. They had one in the temple of time, but I'm wondering if I'm not supposed to do that yet. I'm supposed to take these to the old man so he'll give me the paraglider. We'll see. We'll see where the story takes us. I would prefer to... Whoa. Oh, speaking of the old man, I'd prefer to give him the, 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 the prayer to the prayer statue. Oh my gosh. Can't talk. With this, you have now acquired all the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. Oh, ho, extraordinary. That means it is finally time. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first... What, what's going on? Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines at the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Oh, okay. Do you understand? Where two lines connecting the shrines would cross? There I will be waiting. Man, why, why can't you just uh, help me out here? All right, well, let me uh, pull up the map. Imagine an X. Let's zoom out a bit. Okay, so here's one, two. Uh, I guess not the one. One, two, three. Well, would that just be, uh, would it be the Temple of Time? Or would it be, uh, the tower? Where was that tower? No, the tower's over here. That's not an X. I feel like it's the Temple of Time. To me, that kind of makes the most sense. This is where I woke up. I'm going to travel here and then, uh, see if he's at the Temple of Time. I just have a feeling that's where he's going to be. We'll head over there. If he's not at the Temple of Time, then I don't know where I'm going. Uh, maybe up here. We'll see. Ah, oh, keys. Get away from me. That's fine. Ugh. <gasps> Ooh, I think I'm in that. Okay. Let me um get something else. Let me try this. Get away from me. Ooh. Take your horn. There we go. Ooh, it's beautiful. I don't know if this is where I meant to be, but I'm hoping. Old man? Old man? He's not here. Oh no. Maybe I should try praying? You have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. In exchange for four orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me what it is that you desire. Um, ooh. You know what? It makes me nervous because I think I'm supposed to give these spirit orbs to the old man. Oh! oh. I hear him. Am I in the right place then? Here I am. Get up here, quickly. What? How do I get up there? Ah. Okay. So I am supposed to be here. <laughs> um. Don't know how to get up there though. Can I just climb the whole building? Ooh. Oh, I guess I can. I'll try. I don't know if I have enough stamina. Maybe that's- maybe I should use the orbs and get some more stamina. 
but I'm worried I'm going to use them. And then he's going to be like, where are my spirit orbs? What do you mean you prayed them away? Those were for me. No paraglider for you. Okay, I think I'm okay. Maybe? Oh, oh perfect. Oh, that was a close one. Sir? Sir? Where, where are you? Uh, oh, there he is. Oh my goodness. Well, I would really like to use the spirit orbs for something, so I'm hoping I can keep them. <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. You're not an old man? I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. Whoa. A kingdom which no longer exists. Whoa! King Rome? Is that what he said? Roem? Rome? The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path. Lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. Oh, he and did? Since that time, here I have remained oh. in spirit form. You see Ghost Link. I did Link. not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought he meant ready to take on Ganon. I was like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> to know Calamity Ganon's true form. One must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large hmm. areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the oh. divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the guardians. And yes, those are the guardians. <laughs> soldiers who fought so those used to be good guys? Because they sure don't like me. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword. I think I know who those people are. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. 100 years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty oh, of okay, interesting. divine beasts. Do we get to find these people? With the well, if it was 100 years ago. We dubbed these pilots hmm. champions. I wonder if they're still around? A name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Uh-oh. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. Ooh. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardian. Oh no, that's why they're evil now. The champions lost oh their man. Oh. Champions are gone. Bravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, 
the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. No! Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests. <gasps> Oh, Zelda! That was brave. That princess was my own daughter. Oh. My dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then. You were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. I wonder um, why he lost all his memories, or if that's just part of it. The words a of part of the Shrine. Hearing since your awakening off from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless Aww. here. He just wants his he daughter wants safe. Her, yeah. My daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. East, okay. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. Okay. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell Impa. you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Sheikah Slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Take me there, Sheikah Slate. Let's go. Between summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Do I get the paraglider now? Hmm. Go on, here's the paraglider just as promised. Oh yeah. An item that you receive from the king on the Great Plateau. It allows you to sail through the sky. Press X while you're in the air to use it. All right. Well, we finished up those shrines. I'm excited to use this. <laughs> With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. I've told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Ah! Destroy Ganon, main quest. Ah! Ho ho ho! Seek out Impa. Oh, this has stamina too. Oh no. Oh wait, that means I can go back to the statue and uh... Let's go back. Let's uh, redeem those spirit orbs. Let's do stamina vessel. Uh, yes please, I wish to expand it. I shall grant the power you seek. Ooh. Give me power. Nice. The size of your stamina wheel has increased, allowing you to perform more actions before getting tired. Perfect. Sweet. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. I shall. All right. Let's uh, check out our map here. Am I pushing the right button? Yes. All right, Sheikah Slate, where, where do you want me to go? Oh, wait a minute. All the way over here? Seek out Impa. Alrighty then. So I guess I will just uh, hop off the plateau here. I, uh, I'll go to the edge and I guess just jump off and paraglide down. Let's, uh, let's try it out. Go over here. Wee! Oh, that didn't last very long. <laughs> um, this direction. I think there's guardians over here. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna. 
I'm not gonna fall for that again. Ugh. Can you even destroy them? I'm sure there's a way. Ugh. I'm just gonna go behind you guys and jump off the great plateau over here. Excuse me. Excuse me. And... Is this it? Alright, here we go! Whee! I'm hopping off the Great Plateau! I'm doing it, y'all! Alright! And we're down! Hyrule Kingdom! Awesome! Alright, well... As it said, our next uh, task is to find Impa, so we will do that, or at least head towards it, in the next episode. If you enjoyed your time here today and want to support the channel, leave a like and say hi down in the comments below, and consider subscribing if you want to catch more of this series. And I will catch you guys in the next episode of Breath of the Wild.